Hi, we have uh, Dr. Mercinelli with us here. My name is Karan Jatwani. I'm a faculty at George Washington uh, University Hospital Center. And I'm here with Dr. Mercinelli to discuss her poster that is being presented at GU ASCO that evaluates HRD signature in clinically advanced prostate cancer. Um, congratulations on winning the Merit Award. Thank you very much. Um, I see you have done some wonderful work. So if you can just give us a brief summary of your poster and sort of what is the impact that it will have um, on the oncology world in general. Okay. Uh, thank you for your question and for having me here today. Uh, well, um, we know that we select patients to receive PARP inhibitors on the basis of mutation that we find mostly in BRCA1 and 2, but also in other HRR genes. Sometimes uh, this kind of selection does not reflect uh, the, the real population that can benefit from PARP inhibitors. So with the HRD signature, we can def, uh, identify all the HRD phenotype people. Mm -hmm. So like, for example, those patients who have a hypermethylation, for example, of BRCA, uh, so they are not detected because they have not a mutation, but they still can benefit from PARP inhibitors. In our uh, work in particular, we analyze more than 20,000 cases of uh, prostate cancer samples and we correlated the, the presence or absence of HRD signature positivity with different uh, genomic uh, alterations. In particular, 10% of our population had uh, HRD signature positivity and it was mostly associated with the BRCA2 B allelic alteration. Mm -hmm. So okay. confirming uh, the the, the positive predictive role of a, po a potential benefit from PARP inhibitors. And you looked at the next genome sequencing signature yeah, of these people? We also we sequenced all the patients with an NGS. And uh, did you also look at the chip mutation in these patients? Uh, this was uh, not so... We, we presented in the poster only the significant ones. So there was a kind of a difference, but it was not significant. I see. Yeah, and I think uh, this this work highlights the fact that, you know, it's important to look for especially the biallelic mutations where yes. the uh, where the benefit has been seen yes. the most compared to the ones where you have only single copy loss where you might or might not see uh, the response to these toxic agents. Yes. So what would be sort of your one-line message or two-line message for our community oncologists out there? Yes. Well, I think we have to rethink how also how to design the next generation clinical trials. So not looking at single gene mutation, mutations, but all the scaring, all the phenotype that the patient could have. Yeah, no, I think that's that's really important, especially in the community. Just seeing a BRCA one, BRCA two mutation should not, <laughs> yeah, should not reflexly put you on the path of a PARP inhibitor. You have to rethink your strategy yes. in that case.